the floor with delivered and I'm so delighted with it. These are Douglas fur floorboards and they just smell amazing. I wish we could just get started on it straight away, but we can't. We have to wait a little while for it to season and dry out and then we can begin to install it. I had cleared the room thinking that uh, ripping out the old floor would be the next thing that we would do, but Nicola was able to take some time off work and he thought the best thing to do would be to just get started on working on the plaster work and also dealing with this problem with the old built-in in the corner. As you can see, we exposed some of the brick in the built-in and originally we were thinking of keeping it that way but I decided that I would prefer to cover it up because I think it distracts attention away from the fireplace and I really want the fireplace to be the uh, central focus point. So we decided to cover up the brickwork with drywall or plasterboard. So Nicola um, put that up for us and uh, the shelves are pretty special because they're actually cut from an old table that used to belong to his mum. So um, I'm really delighted to have that as part of our built-in in the kitchen now. Another reason I wanted to cover up the brick was because I suddenly had an image of the back of the built-in being covered up with um, a toile de jouis. And that's a particular type of print uh, that used to be put onto fabric. Um, it's very French style. It looks a little like this. And I can, I can really imagine that in the back of the built-in. I think it would be really beautiful. The frame of the built-in will have to wait a little while until we've installed the floor because the frame will go all the way down to the floor. So in the meantime, um, Nicola is just working away on replastering some of the walls. It really is a momentous task. So while Nicola was working away on that, I wanted to work on this kitchen hutch. This hutch was left behind by the seller when we bought the house. And I was so happy they left it behind because I could see the potential of it. And it's the perfect size to fit behind the door where I want to put it. So it seems to me to be a sort of an art deco style, which fits perfectly because the house was built in 1930. It was pretty filthy though, so I gave it a scuff sand and a really good clean. This painted a good enough job of covering up the dark wood, but I did notice that there were some tannins in the wood that started to bleed through. But I wasn't too worried about that because I was going to use a really good quality paint over top and I knew it would cover that up.
So this is the Hutch base that has the first coat of primer on it. Actually, I only put one coat of primer on, so it did a pretty good job of covering up the dark wood already. I guess if we like painting furniture, we all have our favorite paint. And this is my favorite paint. It's uh, Liberon. And it's a French paint. The company are based in Paris. And it is a really beautiful paint. Um, they've got absolutely gorgeous colors, as you can see here. And they also do wallpaper and lots of other different products to complement uh, your painting projects. So they're well worth checking out. This is the color that I chose for the Hutch by Liberon. It's Lumière d'Opale, and it's a really beautiful color that my camera is not picking up on at all. It's coming across as white, but it's not white. It's a beautiful pale blue-gray color. This paint really goes on like silk, and seriously, I used to think that I was terrible at painting furniture until I realized it wasn't me, it was the cheap paint I was using. It's so worth it to buy a good quality paint, even if it means spending a little bit more. It really, your product just turns out so much better. This is the Hutch, completely painted, top and bottom, and I'm just so delighted with the result. I wish my camera could show the colour for what it really is. It's a beautiful pastel blue-grey, and I still have to reattach the hardware. It came with a sort of a chrome aluminium type um, hardware for the drawers, and I've given them a good clean with some steel wool, so I might put those back on or I might spray paint them copper. I think I might prefer that colour. We've also been dividing our time um, between the inside of the house and also the outside. So we've been continuing on moving some of our plants over from the rental where we live at the moment over to the farmhouse.
I'm so delighted we were able to bring the rosemary bush as well. Spring is approaching softly, revealing her treasures. I hope maybe next time I'll have some sunshine to share with you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to the next time.